Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Mark Report. Back to by Mike York. Today is up day. It's Wednesday, uh, October 9th. Hope you guys have a great morning so far today. Hey, today is another relatively quiet day today um, on the economic front. We just got the F- FOMC minutes that will be released later today. Uh, you know, the, this will give the investors a little insight as to the decision making in the last um, Fed meeting. And of course, we got another one coming up here at the end of. October, so this will kind of give them a little insight and kind of pick the brain as to what to expect uh, going forward. Uh, if they expect to see more rate hikes or, or more rate cuts, excuse me, um, and such, and see what the Fed will be looking at uh, in terms of uh, their decision making process. So let's jump ahead here. Headline news stocks are actually up this morning. Uh, there's some new optimism on, of course, you know, with the China. As you may recall, yesterday we had the uh, U.S. State Department put 28 blacklisted 28 uh, Chinese entities. Of course, China basically uh, is considering some uh, visa restrictions on certain U.S. officials as well uh, in retaliation a bit. But you know they're trying to work things out, basically telling the U.S. to kind of mind their own business and not to delve, uh, get involved with their internal uh, politics and stuff. And but. On the other hand, uh, for the negotiation side of things, so they're saying that China might be open to a uh, more limited uh, uh, agreement with U.S. So, uh, so that created a little bit more optimism. And I don't know if the U.S. side is wanting a limited or if they want a full, uh, full blown uh, in negotiation. So, but this would be this kind of led the investors to be a little bit more optimistic today, which is the reason why stocks are up. So as a result, uh, money's flowing out from the bond market going into the stock market, and we've seen a couple of days where we've gone down. So we start the morning up higher, and then only end up in negative territory. And today, we're so far we're starting in negative territory. We're down about nine basis points. So if lenders did not reprice for the worst yesterday, you'll see that in today's pricing uh, today. So uh, for the most part, our pricing today will be worse than what we saw yesterday morning here. All right, so we do got a little bit of room. We're starting to see a another stochastic uh, trend where we could see the potential of this could, uh, on the stochastic calendar or chart here that this could be uh, reversing a little bit. So this could come back down. We got another dual floor of support, which could help us out. This would bring us back into the uh, neutral territory where right now we're kind of over uh, bot position. So this could eventually bring us back down. We got, we got a little bit of room here before uh, we may see that uh, you know, them test this water here before it gets better again. Uh, same thing with the U.S. Treasuries. U.S. Treasuries are picking up a little bit. Or um, let's see here, we may have a uh, it's an oversold position, and right now it might be showing a reversal here as well. Right now we're at about 1.56 in terms of the yields here. All right, so that's pretty much a wrap. It's like I said, it's a pretty quiet day today. Um, if you guys are looking to buy a refinance, please reach out. Love to be able to help you guys out. We do offer a wide variety of uh, loan programs to find the best solution for you guys. I am a senior mortgage planner with Pinnacle Home Loans. And the best way to reach me is either direct message me or email me. Email is probably the best option of the two. And love to hear from you guys. You guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.